Well, hello there. So we've started talking about wind and air pressure, and the next thing we're going to look at will be uh, weather maps and station models. So before we can really look at weather maps, we need to be able to understand the symbols printed on the weather maps that tell us what the weather is doing. So what you're looking at right here is known as a station model. You've probably seen this in the reference tables. If I back up here a little bit, you could see that this is part of page 13 in the reference tables. So we'll talk a little bit about what these items mean here. Actually, it gives us a very, very nice little decoder area conveniently located right next to it here in the reference tables. So this is what it would look like on the map. So you can see in the upper left we've got the number 28, underneath it is one half, under that is 27, and if we look over here we've got exactly the same numbers, but the difference is over here it tells you what each of the numbers means. So when you're looking at a weather map, they put a lot of data for a lot of locations on a map in a small area. So the goal of these weather station symbols was to put the data in there that's necessary for forecasters to do their job, but without taking up a whole bunch of space. So you could see here in the upper left corner, I'll try to hold the camera as steady as possible, uh, you've got 28, which is temperature given in Fahrenheit. Then you've got the number one half, which is your visibility in miles. You've got the little symbol for present weather. And underneath that, you've got your dew point, which is also given in Fahrenheit. So you can see the symbol here is a little star, which means that is, well, we have to come down here. And you can see down here, there it is. Lower left, it is snow. So these are the symbols for different types of precipitation. If your weather is clear, you do not put in a symbol. So fair or clear weather has no symbol, you would leave that blank. All right. Up here, we've got a three-digit number for barometric air pressure given in millibars. You can see that there's a conversion that we're going to need to do. That'll be in the next video. Same thing with barometric trend. Precipitation is given in inches. That's usually a decimal point. Other things you need to know about cloud cover. So you can see that there's 75% cloud cover because three quarters of the circle are darkened. The other thing is the wind, right? Remember there's two components to wind. There's wind speed and wind direction. You use a weather vane to find the wind direction and use an anemometer to find the wind speed. So wind direction is sort of like, I call this little flagpole here. So this line here is going to point the direction that the wind is blowing from. So it shows here that it's the sort of lower left, right? If we were to go and add, this were like a compass rose here, right? You'd have north, you'd have south over here, you'd have west and of course east. So this is between south and west, so we say the wind is blowing from the southwest. The wind speed is told to us by the little flags. So you can see, well, the reference tables calls them feathers. So you can see there's a big feather and a little feather. The big feather is 10 knots, and the little feather means 5 knots. So if we add the two of them up, we get 15. All right, so let's take a look at how to actually read one of these because weather variables change. It's not always going to be the same numbers. So let's say we look at our weather map and we see a weather station that looks like this. What do all of these things mean? So really the easiest thing to do is to just kind of go to your reference tables and look at what the numbers mean. So if we start in the upper left, we start on the left side, you can see that that is where temperature is located. So the reference tables, it shows the temperatures 28 degrees Fahrenheit, but on our thing here, the number in the upper left is 10. When we look at our weather station, we see that the number in the upper left is a 10. So that means that our temperature 
is 10 degrees Fahrenheit. The number underneath that is three quarters. So that's our visibility. So I'm gonna write that here. It's gonna write vis is three quarters of a mile. Underneath that, I've got the number eight. So the number eight is, uh, well, on our reference tables here, it's 27, so that's our dew point. So our uh, dew point is eight degrees Fahrenheit. And that's basically it. You just kind of go around, take a look, right? As I said, we're not gonna worry about barometer and all of that stuff just yet. That'll be the next video. We could see that uh, it is, uh, cloud cover is 50%. Pretty impressive. It's raining and there's only 50% cloud cover. Well, that's not reality. That's just, you know, an example. Uh, we can see that the wind is out of the south. So wind is south and that is at, what is our wind speed? Well, uh, it's only one small feather. So we know that the wind is at five knots. So at some point we're gonna have to draw a weather station model given the information we've got. So let's do that. So here's our weather data. We've got our temperature at dew point, cloud cover, wind data. So now we're gonna put it on our little weather station right here. So temperature, mm, temperature goes in the upper left. So our temperature here is 72 Fahrenheit. So I'm just going to, in the upper left here, write 72. I don't have to put degrees, I don't have to put Fahrenheit, right? Take a look at the example, just numbers. So all that stuff about you have to have units, well, we don't have to in this case. Dew point, dew point goes on the bottom left. And so our dew point is 60. So I'm gonna put dew point right down here. It's gonna write 60. Once again, no degrees Fahrenheit, none of that other stuff. Visibility, visibility goes on the left in the middle. So I'll try to squeeze that in over here. There we go. And of course, current weather is clear. So there is no symbol for clear. So we just leave that blank. Next piece of information we've got is cloud cover. 75%, nope, I meant to make that 25%. <laughs> Goofy me. So uh, I'm going to color in 25%. There we go. And uh, let's see here. We've got our wind information. So it says that wind is out of the northwest. So I will draw the wind barb coming off this way, pointing to the northwest. And then it says wind speed. So for us, wind speed is 30 knots. So on there, I'm going to draw three big feathers or flags. And there you go. That's the weather station, given the weather data that we have. So I did not have any data for air pressure. I did not have any data for precipitation. So any missing data, just leave it blank. If they don't give you the data, just leave it blank.